grab your popcorn or pour your spiciest tea. Today, we're reading a real life drama that one of you have sent me in the DMs. Story for you. A church priest in our area that everyone loved was found taking money from the church for personal stuff like expensive vacations and a secret luxury apartment. This has shocked everyone we know. This guy has been taking money from the church. That's like robbing God and then asking him for the getaway car. It's like he read the Bible and saw the love of money is the root of all evil and thought, I gotta see what all this evil is about. Not only did he see the root, he took the whole tree. If he wasn't stopped, he would have invested in a heavenly hedge fund. Now, this guy uses divine intervention to a whole nother level. I'll use God to help you help me. That's my invention. And can you imagine the confession booth at that church? Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. That's cute. Do you have a watch, and if so, what kind? Yes, an Apple Watch, Father. Why? <laughs> Give me your hand, my child. Thank you for your donation. Now, go do 10 Hail Marys. <laughs> but I haven't even confessed yet! But let's be fair, maybe he misinterpreted the Bible. When it said it is easier for a camel to enter the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven, he probably thought, challenge accepted. Now where can I buy a mini camel? Will a Ferrari be okay? How are you going to give your baby to a guy who will baptize it in the morning and then almost capsize his speedboat in the evening? Next thing you know, he's gonna use holy water and then fill his hot tub with it. The church is putting the money in the basket thinking it's going to a good cause, but it's just going to a beach house in Miami. It's all for the Father, the Son, and the Holy Bank account. He practically wrote an 11th commandment, Thou shall not get caught. It's like if Robin Hood stole from the poor and gave to himself- Sorry, there's already a word for that. Politicians. It's crazy, man. You go to a church looking for spiritual guidance and you end up funding Little Priest's rap album, Verses of Versace. Jesus saves, I will drop. I wanna know how he got caught. Did they find receipts for things no preacher should have? Did they find receipts for a gold-plated bathtub? Was he trying to baptize people in style? And when he got caught, he was probably like, well, the devil made me do it. Nah, man. Shaitan was confused that you had the idea and you did it. The only thing he seen worse from a priest was a reverse exorcism. I admit it, I have sinned. Oh, really? That's like saying the Titanic has a minor leakage problem. <sighs> Jokes aside, I've just heard stories like this all the time from all different walks of life whenever there's a person of power. We don't attack priests, just the evil ones. But you, what do you think about the situation? Have you heard of something like this before? Send me your stories and then I'll talk into the camera for an hour and then crop out the best five minutes. Stay blessed and subscribe. Peace.